Well, what better time on the video for them to want to do the mini cheese? A clutch kick. Oh, oh, oh yeah! Oh. <laughs> That was it. There we go. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, oh. I just did a how-to on how to clutch kick wheelies. I'm just trying to get better at it and do a different video just just how to do wheelies. So that's what Anyways, yeah, I've got the how-to video and this little clutch kicking video. I try not to ride too much like this recklessly in the neighborhood. I don't want to make anybody upset. I do live in an HOA. You're welcome. Yeah, make sure you uh, subscribe and like the video while my kids are out playing. So that'll be all for the KLX for today. It will come within time. These are literally the first and most wheelies I've ridden on this thing at all since I just got comfortable clutch kicking it. Um, we didn't cover the turbo V-Rod with a hangers. We didn't cover the VET. We didn't cover the mini Jeep or the 50cc four-wheeler. So make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, make sure you comment down below any questions. Just a little rinky dink clutch kick video for the wheelies on this. Again, I just shot the how to clutch kick wheelies video and uh, those are literally, besides popping it up once or twice when I ride with the kids, these are the first videos of me just kicking it left and right and kind of trying to find the balance point better. 10 o'clock or midnight is where you want to be when you're riding a wheelie. 10 o'clock is about the best because it requires very little fuel, but it's violating, overcoming, not feeling insecure about falling off if you're not really used to it. So learning your balancing point is really where it's at. So we'll see you next time. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like. Make sure you subscribe. We'll see you next time. Bye.